what hunting and gardening have in common? It's composting. You can actually use a compost pile to clean off, of, off a skull this fall after you harvest your deer or antelope. The important thing to remember is that the skull has a lot of tissue on it, which is very high in nitrogen. You need to balance that out with something that's high in carbon. Ideally something like shredded leaves or straw uh, or sawdust or wood chips. Some combination of that would work well. What you want to do is build up a base about a foot or two deep and put the skull on top of it and then cover the skull with more composting material, another 18 inches or so. It's really important everything is thoroughly covered and add a lot of water. Make sure that material is very wet. And then just let it sit for a few weeks. If you're going to try composting a skull, it's really important to make sure the temperature gets hot, over 130 degrees Fahrenheit. This is going to make sure that you kill any potential pathogens that might be in the compost, as well as keep the odor down so you don't attract the neighbor's dog. This skull has been in the compost pile about a month and there's still a bit of tissue left on it. When you dig your skull out, you may need to hose it off first and look at it and if there's still tissue left on it, put it back in the compost pile again and let it sit for another couple of weeks. Eventually, you'll have a skull that's clean and ready to bleach and hang on the wall. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Caitlin Youngquist and you're watching From the Ground Up.